Hello, may I speak to Mr. Brent, please? Or wake him up, will you? Hello, George, this is Betty. Betty Davis, remember, we just finished a picture together? Listen, I've been asked to make a speech over the radio tonight. I don't know what to say. Come on, don't help me, will you? All right, thanks. Hi. What kept you so long? Oh, I had a knot in my shoestring. What's all this about a radio broadcast? Well, the studio publicity department wants me to talk about our latest picture, Front Page Woman. You do, huh? Front mm -hmm. Page Woman. Well, I'll say that ought to be easy. Here, I'll show you. Let me take this off. Put this over here. Now, this will be the microphone, mm -hmm. see? What are you going to say? Well, I'd say, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but that's uh, not necessary. We all know that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we do? Oh, well, in that case, uh, I'd say, uh, I've been asked to say a few words about uh, Front Page Woman. The picture... Oh, that's the... not necessary either. We all know I've been asked to say a few words about Front Page Woman. Otherwise, I wouldn't be at the radio station at all. <laughs> that's right. Uh, well, I guess that's out, too. Mm -hmm. but... I know what I'll say. Front Page Woman is a story about a happy-go-lucky newspaper girl who's in love with a reporter on a rival paper. But instead of being friendly, they're always trying to double-cross each other. Ah, oh, no. That's not necessary either. Everybody knows that Front Page Woman is a story about a newspaper girl. Besides, if you tell them too much, that isn't any good either. It doesn't leave us very much to say, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Why don't you just say hello? Hello for 15 minutes. Sure. Oh, well, thanks. I'm so glad you came over. Oh, that's all right. I know what we'll do. You come down to the radio station with me and we'll do some scenes from the picture. That's an idea. And we'll start with the apartment house fire. How's that? Hello, Holland. Make way for Mother's Little Lamb. How are you, Mr. Devlin? Fine. And who's this poor young lady you've got with you? <laughs> she says she's a reporter. <laughs> she does? Well, she isn't a reporter, and what's more, she never will be. I'm every bit as good a reporter as he is. Oh, yeah? Well, let's see you get through these lines. Did you see Mr. Stone after he was dead? Well, yeah, but not to speak to. Was there much blood? How high was the blood, Toots? Oh, up to my knees, but then I'm a tall man. Put that gun down. You don't know what you're doing. I know just what I'm doing. All right, you won't get away with it. Ah! Ellie, get out of here. He's got a gun. What? Put that gun down. You know you know what you're doing. Listen to me, will you, please? Ah! So, you covered. That fathead, Kylie. Hey, where are you going? So you double-crossed me. What do you mean, double-crossed you? I tried to cover you. Wait a minute. This isn't going to do me any good either, you know. Oh, I... I just dropped in for a minute. I, I can't stay, really. Oh, yes, you can. Get in there. Oh, please don't point that. Robert, who is she? She's a fly cop, sis. Oh, you got me all wrong. I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter. You've got to believe me. Now, you sit tight and keep your mouth shut or you'll go back to headquarters on a slab. <laughs> 